Good afternoon, Chad Honeycutt here with Dwayne Tindall from Atlantic Bay Mortgage, and we're very excited to spend some time with Dwayne just to learn a little bit more about your journey and your successes that you've had in the mortgage world and uh, a little bit more about who you are. I got you know the mortgage business um, 1997. Okay. So, and I've always been in mortgage or banking, you know, financial services. You know, when you and I worked yeah. together, so I was long thinking time. it was at least 10 years ago. Yeah, you and I worked time. together. So, what's that? 25 years. Yeah, yeah. that you've been so, involved in. It. Wow. Yeah, just all, you know, off and on. Sure. As far as direct mortgage experience, like 10 years. Okay. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know when you and I worked together, we did a little bit of everything. We did the financial services, the right. lending, yeah. uh, the helping people with their deposit accounts, and then both of us kind of went some yeah. different different directions. That's right. But I remember a lot of the conversations we had back then about wanting to kind of branch out and do our own thing, and right. you, you kind of found that path mm -hmm. and that passion that for, yeah. through the mortgage, yep. which when I think of mortgage bankers like yourself, I think of people that are very entrepreneurial because you're, you're branding and marketing you. Right. That right. You, you have the support of, of the companies like Atlantic Bay, right. but really it's, it's about you and your marketing efforts and the service that you're providing to your clients. So what are a couple things that you feel like separate yourself from you know, the rest of the industry as far as you directly? Sure. Um, I, you know, it, I hate to say it, but experience. Sure. You know, I think it's a great point. You know, mortgage is, um, to me, it's not complicated, but but it can be. Right. Parts, parts of it can be. Um, and just, just being in the business a long time, um, working for a great company, Atlantic Bay, that allows you to be an entrepreneur because um, we're most mortgage people are very much like realtors we're independent contractors we you know we work for a company but we're our, you know we we're our own brand and yeah we go out and market ourselves and build those relationships so um you know atlantic bay is a great company you know to work for and allows um, gives you that behind the scenes yeah, support just, to do what just you need. a lot of marketing support mm -hmm. just um, it's all we do um, you know for a while I was a bank lender and you know uh, when you work for a bank mortgage is just one of 15 things that they do so being at just a mortgage company um, and that's all we do is mortgage it's just it's great I mean it's just helped my business tremendously so well, it allows you guys to really position yourselves as an expert mm -hmm. in that industry because yep. you're not trying to spread yourself and kind of be all things to all people right. Right. Um, you really have a specialty and you're experts in that right. in that division which in your case has been the mortgage business yeah Tell me a little bit about how you personally are differentiating yourself th through your marketing efforts. Like, sure. What are some things where you've experienced some success lately? A, a lot of it for me, how I like to market myself is like this, yeah. one to one. Sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm by nature, I'm kind of introverted, so okay. I'm not. You know, a lot of people, some people in our business are very like in your face, and yeah. I'd rather just, hey, let's go out to lunch. Let me get to know you. You know, like you know. What do you like to do? And just to connect, connect that way, and and then you know it's critical to perform when they do call. You know when they do call you, you take a realtor out to lunch, and you know a week or two later, you know or that day they give you an opportunity where you have to perform. And so I, I take that, I take the opportunity very seriously. Yeah, well, so, yeah. as well you should. Yeah, I know. Like in in our business and your business, that referral partnerships are extremely important. Yes. And in, in, in my line of work, I treat those just like my customers. Right. I mean, they're just they're just as important, if yeah. not sometimes more important. Yeah. So, what are some ways that you identify potentially, you know, those those new referral partnerships and who you want to work with? Sure. I think it's um, you just it's you know kind of kind of one at a time. You know, I um, I, think I tend to have nice. Um, a lot of success with like newer agents, okay, you know, and, and you know because they're new to real estate. Well, and you've got the experience yeah. to try and to so I help just, them out. You know, I just try to you know just be like, hey, just call me if sure. something weird if something comes up or you have a question. Yeah. Um, 
And so I build a lot of rapport that way because okay. let's face it, the, you know, the top the top agents in this town, they have their lenders or they're yeah. already working with me. Right. <laughs> you know, and they're they're a hard that's a hard referral source to, to get. I understand. Um, so you know um, and and then a lot of it too, kind of like you, is just longevity. Sure. You know, um, a lot of realtors. Because, well, I mean, it's, that's one thing you can't replicate. Yeah. It's just someone's it's just, experience it's just time. sticking around. Yeah. You know, like, it really is. Like losing the hair, getting a little gray, and, you know, <laughs> just hanging in there. Finally, they're taking you know? it serious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so that that plays a role into it, right? And again, I'll, I'll go back to Atlantic Bay because they we they've been in business. The company's been around over twenty years, and okay. a lot of successful loan officers, and we just have a great team and support. That's great. So, well, good. And and, and um, you know we're fairly new to Wilmington, but mm-hmm. but the company's been in business a while. They've, they've proven themselves mm-hmm. already, and we're making you know I'm, I'm very proud of the team that we. That we that we have, that the loan officers that we have, we right. all get along well. Um, we look out for one another, and, and it's not like that at every mortgage company. No, no, it's not. And I want to key in on one point you just made about your longevity and your time that you've been in this business. Mm-hmm. I think that experience is so important, especially in what you do, because you've been through several financial cycles. Right. You've seen yeah. you've seen the ups and right. you've seen the downs, right. and you've been able to work through both. So when you're working with a client. And whether right now things are pretty pretty good, everybody's is happy. But in a, in a few years, we don't know. Things could change. Right. There could be a the market, could, the industry could shift. Right. But a client would want to work with someone like yourself because you've already navigated those waters. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really important to, to remember. And, and someone that's just getting into the mortgage business, right. uh, just starting out, you know, their first year, they haven't been punched in the gut yet, so to speak. <laughs> right. And so yeah. I think that's really important um, you know, when clients are considering who they want to work with, right. which is another reason they would want to work with someone like yourself. Dwayne, obviously that experience is extremely important to you, right. but if you could go back and speak to yourself 10 years ago mm-hmm. with the knowledge you've got mm-hmm. today and the experience you've got mm-hmm. today, mm-hmm. would you instruct young Dwayne to do anything different? Oh, of course. I mean, yeah. we all, you know, we sure. look, have a rear view mirror. We're all like, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, regret getting to here and where I'm at, but, right. but you know, I started with Atlantic Bay in 1997. Okay. So if I had to do it all over again, I would have never left. Wow, I didn't you know. That. Yeah, yeah, so I was in retail management and at that time we had newspapers. Yeah. <laughs> and there was an ad in there was a little ad yeah. in the paper, you know, now hiring, you know, loan officers. I interviewed at the um, uh, the Landfall Executive Suite over yeah, here sure. in a conference room, and they loved the fact that um, I was in retail management and it was for a pawn shop. Okay. So they immediately just saw me as a negotiator. Oh, sure, a go-getter. Uh, yeah, yeah. go-getter. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'll give it a try. So my first, so if I had to go back 20 years, I would have stayed with Atlantic Bay. Stayed on track. Because even yeah. though Atlantic Bay went you know, went through some, you know, they felt the some economic changes, they grew and then they ex- yeah. they pulled back and sure. now they're in growth mode. Um, and again, it goes back to just, you know, that longevity and sticking with it, you know. Um, I didn't realize you but then you and I would have never met, you know, we never met in banking, so I know. that would have been a major loss. I learned a lot from your entrepreneurial <laughs> spirit back then. I remember a lot of the conversations we had about different ideas and different businesses, mm-hmm. but. But we always, I felt like we always used that that creativity that we had for business, and we were able to channel that into our banking, you know, mm-hmm. because we could help people kind of come up with different ideas if they had a, if they came into the bank and they wanted to, I don't know, take equity out of a home, right. and, you know, we could help them be yeah. as creative as we could within mm-hmm. the realm of, you know, the banking regulations. Right. But it was right. just to kind of help people get beyond a sticking point. Yeah. What and most of the time for them that was a mental sticking point, right. and so we were able to help them, you mm-hmm. know, overcome those hurdles, which yeah. obviously. You probably find yourself in that that role a lot these days. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I joke with people. I'm like, I wear a Dave Ramsey hat, <laughs> uh, Susie Orman hat. Sure, I'm a credit advisor yeah. um, because you know not everybody can buy a house. Right. A lot of people want to, but 
where I win a lot of business is just coaching them through the process. Right. Like, it's hey, it. you know, you need to save up some more money, mm -hmm. or you know, you need to work on your credit. Right. You know? And it could be as simple as, hey, pay this this credit card balance down, and you'll get a thirty point Immediate pop in bump. your credit yeah. score. Sure. And we'll do a credit rescore, and then bam, I've just you know, I've just yeah. put a deal together. So. Right. Um, or you know, they're just they they think they're ready, you know, but they're just they're, just, they're not. not. So yeah. a lot of it is is having the Dave Ramsey you know conversation. Well, with and, them and that and, just shows that yeah. you you do genuinely care. For yeah, because you don't want to put somebody in a situation where yes, you can qualify for the mortgage, but you're going to have a really hard time paying for right. it. You know, and, yeah. and I don't think yeah. you don't want to put people in that situation. And I think that you know, that there's a lot of good lenders in this town, mm -hmm. and the ones that are you know really good and they have been doing it a long time. Right. They they there's there's a huge. Um, you know, they take pride in what they do and the yeah. advice that they give them. And you're right. You know, I, the last thing, you know, I'll I'll talk to people and they'll be paying $1,000 in rent. Mm -hmm. And then I'm talking to them and they want to buy this house and their mortgage payment is going to be $2,500. Right. So I'm always kind of like, I'm always like, okay, you know, how does it feel to... You know, to pay this thousand dollars because you're about to jump on twenty five hundred. Sure. Even though you qualify for it, you know, are we? Are we, you know? Do you really? Do you really? You know, that's a, you, you're almost you're more than doubling your housing expense. So there's a lot of that, and that's the part that I love, just the the nuts and bolts and just right. figuring, you know, just putting a loan package together and, and getting it to work and and people. If you help people get what they want, right, it, it, it rewards you. I agree. Tenfold. I agree. So and and there's nothing more you know satisfying when I'm at closing and I've been working with someone six months a year and they finally buy the house and and I had one lady she wouldn't let go of my neck. You know? and she was just <laughs> yeah. so happy. So appreciative of your work. Just yeah. very very appreciative of just. Um, you know, seeing someone's credit score, you know, go up almost a hundred points, and they basically they took your advice to heart, and they followed through on it. So I think that's the key. I mean, yeah. you can give advice, but if you can't kind of actually help coach them towards executing yeah. on your advice, yeah. then then you know you're not doing maybe as a service and, and, as you could. Yeah, and it's on them. You know, right. I mean, I can't, I can't. You know, I'll give you the plan. You know, it's that old saying: you can take a horse to water, but you, you know, you know, can't make them. So, but that's the that's the very fulfilling side for right. me. So, <laughs> with with the family time and the work time, what what do you have as far as goals this year? Do you have you know, as far as you personally, business wise, like, do you, are you a goal oriented person by I nature? I am. I am. I mean, I, I I know in my mind like how many credit pools our, our business, the mortgage person's business kind of starts with credit pools okay because credit pools are a duration of how many people am I am I talking to yeah. sorry um, you know kind of like policies yeah. in the insurance business yeah. you know or quotes, quotes. quotes. sorry how many quotes. quotes are we doing right sure. so like if you're not doing a lot of quotes then you're you know then your agents are probably not or yourself you're not talking to enough people. right so with us it's credit pools okay so you know, I have a certain amount of credit pools I like to do a month, mm -hmm. and then from that you get applications out of that, yeah. and then applications you have, you know, you're going to have some default, yeah. just for whatever reason. So, you know, my my goal this year is to do, you know, about 30% more okay. than I did last year. Well, I know that you, you mentioned something that I've found very true with a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs like yourself is right. that we have a goal, but then we reverse engineer ourselves how do we achieve that goal right. we break it down to a you know a quarterly goal or a monthly goal or you know weekly or even you know yep. for me I have a daily goal yep. you know within our office yep. and, and that mine's daily, broken down daily yeah so yeah. that daily goal right. uh, is the impact the impact that that has into your annual mm -hmm. goal Mm -hmm. um, that has to exist it does. and if you're not doing what you need to do on a daily basis you're not you know, and you get to the end of the year and you're like, why am I short of my goal? Right. Well, it really is a daily yeah. expectations that we have on ourselves and our team and, and everybody around us. Yeah. So yeah. I just wanted to kind of highlight that for a minute because I don't yeah. want that to, because that's very important mm -hmm. and you figured that out a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. And so that's that attributes to your success. Mm -hmm. You know what you need to do each yeah. and every day yeah. uh, that you wake up. Now, 
I think that requires a mentality of more like a marathoner than a sprinter mm -hmm. because it's really that doing that day in and day yeah. out, the work that has to be done right. so that you can accomplish what yeah. you want to accomplish. And, and the challenging part, you know, for me, you know, being naturally introverted is, mm -hmm. is you know, doing those cold calls and, you know, I'm, I'm always, it's a, you know, battling, not yeah. always battling that, but, yeah. um, you know, because I know if I'm not out doing that, I'm not going to get opportunities to talk to people, sure. pre-qualify them, and pull a credit report. So right. I'm not even going to get to A if I don't do you know, all this other True. stuff out there. Absolutely. Well, Dwayne, I, I really appreciate your yeah, time, man. Absolutely. This has been great yeah, reconnecting awesome. with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank since you. Since those, what, 15 years ago, we, worked, we <laughs> yeah. started working together. That's but, right. But this has been great. I really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for sharing a couple of tidbits with me today. Yeah. That'll help my business. Absolutely. I've learned yeah. a lot You're from welcome. you, too. So yeah. I wish you nothing but the best and okay. continued success. Yeah, so, man. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Chad. You got I appreciate it. it.